have a review on the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. This is a new range of primers that they have come out with. There's 10 in total. They range from ones for texture, like smoothing, mattifying, hydrating, to ones for tone, for redness, for brightening the skin. So they have a whole range of these primers available now. As far as the price points, the one fluid ounce is worth $36 or you can get the half of the ounce for $16. So I really like that they have the travel size. The only thing is that the travel size is only available in smoothing, hydrating, and mattifying. But that being said, a lot of people I feel will tend to gravitate to one of those at least. So what it says for the smoothing one, which is this little baby one that I have right here, is that it evens out your skin's texture. So that is the main purpose of this one. So I have ordered already the 0.5 fluid ounce for the $16 because I just fell in love with this so I needed a bigger size of this bad boy. This one I got from Sephora as one of those little samples that they give out once you, you know, one of those coupon codes. So I tried it out, loved it, and I really wanted to go ahead and get the $16 one for the mattifying as well. I wish they had little mini ones of all of the ranges that they have just because it's better bang for your buck. For $16, you get half of half an ounce, 0 0.5 fluid ounces. And 16 plus 16, which is one fluid ounce, is $32, not $36. So you're actually getting it for cheaper. So I'm going to go ahead and order the mattifying one in the 0 0.5 as well. So then I'll have both of those. And I also am going to go ahead and compare this with a few other primers um, in a little while. So this primer I absolutely love. If you can't tell already because I already ordered one. I think that this primer is amazing if you want a smooth, just like flatten out canvas for your face. You know what I mean? Like all those little bumps that you have, any kind of pore, just everything on your face just smooths out. When it says it's a smoothing primer, it's not kidding. It just smooths out completely. It is a skin tone color, so let me go ahead and show you guys what it actually looks like. That's what it looks like right there. It's almost the same color as my skin. And once you blend this out on your skin, it just completely, you know, blends in really smoothly. It feels really nice. It's very silicone-y, but at the same time, it's very, very creamy. It reminds me a lot of the Smashbox Pore Minimizer one, where it's a lot more creamier but silicone at the same time. So it doesn't have that moussey texture that some of these have for pores that it kind of cakes up on your face. So I really, 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 really love this. So this, I think, is going to be my new Holy Grail primer. I can't wait to try the mattifying one, especially now that summer's around the corner, and here in Florida, it's already freaking hot as hell. And, you know, for that T-zone, those kind of areas that break down on you. So I'm hoping to get the mattifying one soon, too. So I'm going to go ahead and do that review for you guys as well. There's really not much to say other than it does what it says. It says that it's going to even out your skin's texture, and it does that. So I want to go ahead and compare it to the Porefessional. The Porefessional, and I've said this uh, other times, is a really nice primer for your pores if you pat it in. But it is one of those primers that's more moussey. It's not as smooth going on. It kind of will have a little bit of that moussey kind of cakiness when you blend it in so you really have to pat and even patting I feel like you still see a little bit of that moussiness like that cakiness under you know going on your skin okay, so as far as the Smashbox 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 pore minimizing one this one is basically almost identical I don't really see much difference between them I like both of them they're both kind of a skin color they both smooth out your texture fill in your pores the whole nine yards. The biggest difference for me, big, big different, ugh, I can't talk. <laughs> the biggest difference for me is price. This full size is $36 and it's available in the travel size for 15 or 16. And then the Smashbox, I would only buy in the travel size, which is around $15 for 0.5. But the full size of this is $39. So you're saving $3 with the Makeup Forever one. They both come in tube kind of form, forms, so you can squeeze them both out. So as far as packaging, you know, maybe the Smashbox is a little bit cuter because it's purple, but not something that I'd be, you know, worth spending a little bit extra money on because to me, they basically do the same thing. 
I really feel even so that the Makeup Forever just kind of smooths out more. I don't know if I'm being biased, but I just have fallen in love with this. I really, really, really enjoy it. So yeah, I'd love to hear you guys. Let me know how you feel about this product. Have you tried this new Makeup Forever primer? Have you tried any of the other ones? Which ones do you recommend? Which ones have you loved? What kind of skin type do you have? I'd love for you guys to share and kind of comment on the bottom. It's kind of, kind of like having a chit chat with you girls and learning more about different products. I love when you guys do requests, recommendations, and I'm blabbing on and on, but you get the whole nine yards. So thank you guys so much for watching, for subscribing. I love you guys to death. And until next time, bye guys.